I did leave the last episode on a little bit of a tease, and I apologize for that. Welcome back to Skull and Bones. I'm having so much fun in this game so far. I'm already eight hours in, and I'm still I'm still hooked. I, I, I know the game isn't perfect, but I'm really enjoying it. Um, if you guys happen to buy the game on PC, please use the credit code GAMERIGHT. Uh, get like a little kickback and stuff. Super appreciate it. Why is my mouse playing up? There we go. <laughs> Smuggler's Hideout. What's inside here? I want to find out. Um, also got some really exciting plans for this for this particular episode. It involves a boat, a new boat. <laughs> what is this? He's already posing. Look at him. What is going on here? On the map, you'll now see our supply network. It shows Ooh. all that's happening in the Indian Ocean. Information is our thing. The helm has eyes and ears everywhere. If it's not here, it's not out there. I promise you, opportunities abound. From outsiders to locals and plain shipwrecks, all of them have plunder. <laughs> Things change fast out on the water. Opportunities move between outposts and factions, so you need to be quick. Check the supply network. Chase some leads and scrape a few holes. Come back to me here with any sugarcane you find. Sugarcane? Okay, is that what you want? I can do that. The supply work net. Sorry, I can't read properly, apparently. <laughs> the supply network gives you intel to gather sugarcane and other helm materials. New opportunities will arise where old ones expire over time. Frequently, do not miss out on these lucrative deals. All the helm opportunities uh, you have accepted are registered in the helm tab in your journal. Okay. So this must be the supply network. Okay, let's have a look. And I believe I only need 200 coins for that. And I definitely have that already. So, okay. Should we fast travel there? and get it done there is a ship i would love to build so we unlocked it at the very end of the last episode and i want it quite badly it would involve a lot of work my builders are the best a lot of work i will prove it to you but i'm very tempted i have zero materials <laughs> absolutely not quite a few coins as well um but i really want it so it's a medium le medium ship. So it's definitely bigger than the ship we have currently. It's rank five automatically before we put any upgrades into it. It's got an auxiliary. It's got a stern. It's got broadsides and a bow at the front. The front of the ship, basically. And tons of furniture spots. Yes, I need this ship. So maybe we do this next quest and we'll sort of see where we're at. But yeah, I would 100% want to try and build that ship. And let's take a little bit of effort bit of time i'm willing to put the hours in <laughs> i want it that bad um let me know if we should do that i might it may even happen in, in this episode i have no idea these episodes take quite a long time to make so we'll see we will see i should probably stop wasting my money on fast travel uh so if i fast travel to here that's like another dock so we can disembark and also become a fast travel location oh what's this oh someone's calling for help uh, I, I don't I don't know. I'm a little busy right now. <laughs> I am going past that area. What, what do you want exactly? Hunter and hunted. It's quite a good amount of infamy. We could, we, could, we could have a look on the way. I'll see. I'll see. I'm not making any promises, okay? We'll see. So you're getting attacked by that elite captain. We could go maybe help a little bit. Is there anyone else here or? I might just do it by myself. <laughs> I could give it a go. Oh, good hit. Oh no, he's quite strong. Oh no. He's fairly strong. Oh no. Oh, let's do it. Am I going to regret this? Slow, slow job over there. He's level six. Oh, that's not very nice. I hate flamethrowers. They are the devil. Yeah. Maybe some food. 
Ow, that, that took a fairly good hit. Jesus. Wow. Well, uh, if you could help me out a little bit. Thank you. He's, he's got his side set on me, hasn't he? He's fuming. This was completely... I didn't mean to do this. I want a mission. I want a little supply run. Go, 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 go. Get away. Flamethrower is annoying. Did that even do much? <laughs> Quick little repair as well. Stay alive. This could be my first death. This guy's pretty tough. That flamethrower is... Uh, also, because it adds this, the status effect on as well. And he seems to be dealing pretty decent damage. And he's got his sight set on me. He's, he doesn't like me one bit. He's very annoying. Come on, shoot the rear. Where are we going? I don't want to head for land. I can avoid it. I think there might be three of us going for this. It's pretty cool. Yeah, he's got level seven. He's got level seven shit. Well, now I'm just jealous. One sec. What's happened here? I think he hit my sails. Oh, that's the first time that's ever happened before. It's sort of immobilized for a brief period. We're all doing it. There's loads of us. Yes. He's screwed now, surely. Surely. This is going for backup, which is also possible. Let's try and get a bit closer. What if it gives you like a general like summary of how much damage you've done compared to like your other pirate buddies? He's weak. He's very weak. Uh oh. Why is it always me that gets hit? Ow! Yeah, I feel like we need the upgrade on our ship. Oh, we got rams. Good. He's just flaming me! Are you taking the mickey? Leave me alone. This is bullying at this point. Literal bullying. Guys, can you help me out a little bit? Oh, and he hit my rear as well. Ah. Here we do. I need it. Now he's on fire. See, how does it feel? Level seven shit. Man, I need to step up my game a little bit. Are they... They don't look very friendly, the ships behind. Has he called for backup? Fire! He might have called for backup. But Captain Joker is almost dead. It won't be long until you're eating dinner with the fishes. Fire! That's making sense. Well, on fire! Sweet. Charge him! Finish him off! Yay! Done! Did he didn't really loot? Must have some loot, surely, right? Must have some loot. No? He must have some loot. There's some loot there, yeah. I thought there would be. Well, that was definitely a distraction. We've got a chest. We've got restoration kit, repair kits, treasure. Oh, lime. That's a good one, actually. And some uncut diamonds and a silver box. That's actually worth doing, I think. Oh, he's weak. He's weak. Come on. We're moving at quite a rate of knots here. My cannonballs aren't here. Finish him off! Yes! <laughs> anyway, back on the supply run. Easily distracted there. 
It's making me more determined, though, to level up my ship or to get build a new ship, even. But yeah, definitely tempting. The fact that people are level seven now in the game, and the game has pretty much <laughs> just come out today. I need to step up my game. You step up. Yes, I do. Yeah, it was just the ship needs so many materials, though. It's going to take a lot of work, but again, I'm willing to put that work in. So we, I feel I might need some more coins as well. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of work. Let's see what happens here. Get this supply run done. So was it just give this just hand over 10, 200 coins and that's it? So it looks like some kind of handover. Hello. Sold my last trade to the Kawan. Your face looks familiar. Does it? Really? Um. Sure. I knew I recognized you when you <laughs> I don't know where you recognize me from, but sure. You're lucky that Yanita favors you. Don't waste this opportunity, Kawan. The wares we procure are hard to come by, and most will be gone in the blink of an eye. If you take too long to decide, Captain, you'll miss out on a good deal. I do like good deals. I do. So, ah. So is, that, is it done? Or do I need to now go and get those? Okay. So I gave them 200 and they gave me 16 sugar canes. Okay. Sweet. Seems fair. Uh, show me the available supply opportunities, please. There is none available at the moment. Okay. Got it. Thank you anyway. So that's done. Give the first deal receipt to Yaneta. Okay. Let's do that then. Yeah. The fact I'm fast traveling as well. That was 500 coins I just wasted there. It's laziness. Um, <laughs> I'm also back on PC as well, by the way, in case you guys are wondering why suddenly the graphics look better. With the performance mode on PS5, at least, I haven't checked out the Xbox version. It did look a little bit, a bit more dated. Is that fair? I don't know. Did anyone notice in the last video? It just looks a bit, a bit muddled. I'm not sure that's a great, great word to describe it, but yeah. What's your poison today? I am done. Yo ho, Galvi. Woo! You've done your first job. This calls for a drink. You sound but a bit sarcastic. One job is hardly enough to die rich, eh? Come to me when you're ready for more. I am always ready for more. Give me more contracts. I'm ready. What have you got? A tight ship. The helm success hinders on moving goods quickly and quietly. Complete the first order with an overseas smuggler oh okay sugar cane is easy to find but turning it into something worth selling now that's the hard part meet me in your office and i'll teach you the tricks of the trade okay i didn't know i was so does that count as my office i must admit i didn't know that to good fortune my little smuggler's hideout Hop to it! Times are wasting! There's rum to be made! <laughs> They're a good lot, most of them. And they make the best rum in the Indian Ocean. The distillery here turns your larceny into profit. Put plainly, you bring a sugar cane you've liberated, and we transfigure it. White skull rum, we call it. And it sells as easy as it drinks. It fetches top price from the Red Isle to East Indies. That quality isn't easy. So leave your sugar cane with us and get back out there. Return when we've had time to work our magic. Okay, so get more sugar cane. And we, we start making some serious money. So sugar cane turns into white skull rum. Which I'm guessing they sell for a fortune. And I become nice and rich. Alright. We should have 16 as well, shouldn't we? It's been given 20. With five materials. Ooh. That is pretty good. Let's max it out. 36. Go. Let's take a little bit of time. Let's say nine, nine minutes. Interact with the order registry to continue Yannis's initiation. All right. So that'll take a little bit of time. But once we've got it, we can sell it on. 
I guess it's just a commodity which we just make a lot of money on. You want the best deals for your goods. That's where the order registry comes in. The order registry is where we keep information on all our clients willing to pay top price for speedy delivery. Getting the goods to them, that's your job. Try to buy some sugarcane with your juicy payment on the way back. That way you can keep the distillery working and making profit while you're off making your mark. Don't forget to check the supply network before you head out. There are fortunes there just waiting for you to make them. So this will be how we farm a lot of our money. We need money. And this is how we get rich. Orders registry, order registry displays orders from various clients scattered in the Indian Ocean. Fulfilling an order will generate great profits and increase your infamy. Be warned that such rewards demand an honest effort. You will not be able to fast travel with such a delivery. Deliveries can make you a target. Oh, jeez. Other rogues who will try to steal your precious cargo. As soon as you sail out of the den, stay alert for ambushes. Oh, lovely. Fantastic. I've always sounded a little bit too easy. <laughs> why, why, why? But I guess we accept this order. So 20 white skull rum. It's not even, it's not even particularly um, that much infamy. <laughs> Great. Right, so let's acquire. Do we definitely have the 20 rum ready to go? I don't want to like, set sail and then realize I don't actually have it. Ah, oh, we do have it. All right, I'll take it back. Should I take any more? Is it worth taking more? Or should I just leave it? I'll leave it there. Right, let's head back out and let's let's travel. What is this, by the way? Some kind of letter. Can I can I view it? So this must be my uh, like a sort of synopsis of what this place is all about. Okay, I think I get it. Famous last words. I really want to build that ship though. I thought this is a distraction. <laughs> but we are progressing with the game. Also, we got to open up more potential stuff I guess I just I'm just concerned in case we um get in over our head a little bit and our ship's not good enough which is a possibility oh you got some sugar cane that's tempting suspicious of me apparently um, no reason to be it's all good oh, they're attacking oh of course they are that hits me that's quite a shot oh it missed <laughs> too quick for you Far too quick. Right, we're getting quite close-ish. I say close. Not really. I don't know if that was a, a rogue trying to attack me, or whether that was just we are suspicious of this man. It was maybe like a privateer. They worked out what we had on board and they attacked me. All because I was having a little nosy at them too. To your boat. Maybe they thought they were going to be attacked. Just fair. My little llama. My loyal llama. It's quite cool that being in first person. Seeing like the ropes and stuff move and if you could do the sails, you see like the your sailors helping you out. There's a lot there's a lot going on on the ship. Again, if we go to a medium ship, I'm guessing the crew gets bigger as well. Yeah, I really I really do wanna start working on that. We need to match the qualities of the captain. We be with a good ship. We're a fine captain. We deserve a good ship. I think we do anyway. <laughs> so tempting to accidentally barge into this man. Oh, oh, we did. <laughs> Sorry. Shit, why did I do that for? Sorry. Sorry. Good point, good point. If we lose the cargo, what happens? Do we do we suffer a penalty for that or You look a bit suspicious. Yes, over there. Oh they are rogues. What is it? <gasps> uh oh. Uh oh. I'm so close as well. We I have a feeling we're gonna have to get rid of them. Because it won't let me disembark, will it? And I think it will. Oh, he's hit a shot. <laughs> yeah, can't disembark. Damn you! I've funneled myself in as well. Oh, 
good hit. And again, another one. Fire! Funk gonna take so long to reload. My health is actually quite low. <laughs> Yeah, there's a few comments that I should probably build a bit more. It just does take a bit of time. But yeah, you do get, definitely get more supplies. That's one down. Was that a loot message? Fish, what? Fish, potato, stew. That sounds horrendous. I'm not losing this loot! That was a lovely hit, by the way. <laughs> I don't say so myself. Shay, I'm out. Damn it, I'm full. That's annoying. Um, I get rid of. Could, I've got quite a bit of food actually. Uh, can I eat this? I'll, I'll just jettison it, I guess. I should have to pick it up now. No, don't pick up the same food, you idiot. Oh well, whatever. We're done. Let's deliver the goods. Obviously, you clearly need to have a bit of a clear out. I've got a lot of food, which takes up a lot of slots. We, of course, the food is useful, but you don't need to carry that much food with you. We can trade I've got some raw materials for much silver. Good. So, yeah, we did eventually meet a rogue ship. Maybe those ships back there were rogue ships and we just managed to escape them. Disembark. Fort's loot. Have I been here before? I think I have. I recognise the name. Treasure in this outpost. What? Don't tempt me. What do you mean? Trade lumbers by Captain. Hello. Bear a fearsome visage that don't seem to be spoiling for a fight. I'll have some rum. You are welcome. Now. I haven't seen your ugly mug round here ah, before. Charming. And you don't strike me as the privateering sort. Um, I don't. I don't know about that. I'm just want to make coins really. I have opportunities for you. Good. Ones to fill both our coffers. I like to hear Captain, that. The two of us seek coin and maybe the golden wheel too. I say we help each other out. See, I carry goods to faraway places and Ooh. receive hefty reward. You desire a share of these spoils? I do. Well, if Lady Luck smiles upon you, I might offer some work. If not, I have fine wares too. Come, take your pick, Captain. Oh, level six. Ooh, what have you got? Just sold a bunch of my stuff. Had a quite a few commodities. They were all red arrows, but I'd have to get rid of them, so... I sold them. I'm not sure that was particularly a great idea, but here we are. <laughs> what can you do? Yeah, definitely to try and clear out some of my food, because basically it's taking up slots on the boat, on the ship, that isn't necessary. All right, anyway, my first receipt. Let's do some business. So we get some infamy for this. Well done. To reward your success, you've been granted access Ooh. to our black market. Goods from our past members are sold to current pirates. Take a look. Something is bound to catch your fancy if you have enough helm coins. Your contributions have not gone unnoticed, Galbi. So this is going to unlock, unlock maybe some new blueprints? Books, a place worth maybe. being. Oh, that's the coin we just got. It's like a different currency. I thought that was the, the sort of paid currency. Maybe it is actually. Maybe you can buy that currency. Open the black market. What have we got here? I've only got 25. <laughs> uh, yeah, great. Some pretty nice cannons though. A repair bombarder. What does that do? Restores whole health of a friendly ship in a 35 meter blast radius. Look at me being friendly. Um, is there anything we can maybe sell? Oh, look at this armor. Why? 
Our Huma and Miria, I'd like to know. Am I in the right level? Quiet. I can afford these two, actually. Yeah, what can we sell anything? Would it give me I just I only get coins for that. It's not the coins I'm looking for. <laughs> Damn. Okay, so how do we get that currency up? So we're only on twenty five at the moment. But there's some decent stuff here. Alright, sink or swim. Uh, many a pirate would kill for a cut of the helm lucrative contracts. Take on a supply network contract for the helm. Okay. Ah, the best contracts can gain a lot of unwanted attention. Sorry for Lovely. the surprise, Galby. Rival gangs are tough competition, and they don't fight fair. But there is a way to turn the tide in your favor. Take them out. See me in your office, and I'll tell you how. Why are you talking like that? Are we okay? Okay. Jeez. Wind, <laughs> Calm down. Now you know that taking bigger jobs makes you a target. That's something we all learn sooner or later. There's a way to make that work in your favor. Our network shows operators who take the big deals. That's how they found you. We don't get involved directly. It's bad for business. But neither will we interfere if you hunt others or take revenge. Be careful of the gangs. They're organized and that makes them dangerous. But each gang has its own weaknesses. We show you who's in the area so you can prepare your strategy and turn the tables on them. Check the supply network. Be smart, and you'll take those roads for all the silver they took from others. Easy. <laughs> so I'm guessing the certain gangs will have sort of weapons they may, might use against me, like maybe a flooding weapon, or and I can sort of counteract that with a flooding armor, for example. Uh, you unlocked a new tab in the supply network where you will find intel to hunt rogue convoys carrying sugarcane. Another helm materials. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Rogue hunt opportunities allow you to track down a rogue convoy to steal its helm's material. Oh, I like the sound of this. Should we have a look? This again, it's all about sugarcane. So, attacks. Oh, that's pretty juicy. A bloody channel. <laughs> right, the boat should definitely be a lot emptier. Good. Good, good, good. Uh, what did I do, want to do before we left? Ah, oh, of course, yes. The chest. Why do I keep pressing start? So annoying. Um, right. Open this chest, please. Yay. Oh. Ah, it's not too bad. Actually, not too bad. That's pretty usable. And I guess this is just coins. Oh, yes. We'll not complain about that. More coins. More coins. Oh. <laughs> Let's see, how many chests do I have? Right, now we're done, okay. That wasn't too bad, actually. What level is this particular quest, by the way? <laughs> uh, I don't know. It doesn't actually say. Oh, one sec, level six. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh-oh, what have I done? Some granite. Wow, look at me shine. Oh, gee. Okay, this will be interesting. Is this going to be my first death? Maybe. Maybe. Oh, gee. And this ship's not really... I wouldn't say it's approaching level 6 at all. I don't think it is anyway. It might be time to do some building. I think this is a sign now. My boat's not good enough anymore. <laughs> If we get that medium boat, it's already level five, so that's without zero cannons. We can get an auxiliary cannon as well. A weapon at the back. It will level up pretty quickly, I reckon. But we need to get that boat. It's gonna take a bit of work. So for example, the planks, I think it's ironwood planks. I need five wood for each plank. <laughs> so I'm gonna be doing a lot of sawing. I don't know if that's the rogue ships we're looking for. Still too far, apparently. Does look a bit roguey. Oh, yeah, I think it might be it. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. So that's the ship I need to take out. The sugar cane. Obviously, he's got he's got protection. Oh boy. 
try and get it done, I guess. Three against one. What could possibly go wrong? Good start, Jesus. <laughs> Very good start. They're getting suspicious of us. I wonder why. Oh, they got flame throws. Of course they have. Oh, Jesus, it's in my health. What the hell? Did not see that. Is that one down? Oh, why have you guys all got flamethrowers? Shoot, 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 shoot. Come on, fire again. Fire when ready! Fame for us coming out to play again. Not a fan of the flamethrower. Can confirm. Finish it off. Yes! Get in. Right, where is he? Did he try to make a run for it? The cheeky little devil. Right, we're down to about half health. Health is slowly going up. Is he? He's definitely made a run for it. Boom! Oh my. What the? There must be a tracker on this shot, surely. <laughs> Unless it's just... Maybe we're just... Maybe it's just one of those games that just... I don't know. It, it clicks with. Doesn't happen often with me, to be honest. Try and get away. I ain't gonna help. Yeah! <laughs> Bring him in! <laughs> There's a, a ship I wanted to board. That was definitely it. Oh, what's this? I don't know if I do. That went pretty well. Right, do we have to go back, I'm guessing? Sink or swim? Yep. I'm guessing we have the receipt for that now. Let's head back then. Back to St. Anne again. Yep, give the receipt. Give her, give her, give her the good news. That went pretty well. There was um, a brief panic. <laughs> I forgot to look at my health. They were doing damage. They were doing damage, but we got through it. We survived. And we still haven't died yet. I have an update. It is done. Did they have sugar cane as well? They did, Make didn't they? Yep. Sink or swim. You beat the gangs yes. at their own game. <laughs> that took real fortitude. It means you're ready for the next step. And it's a big one. Uh -oh. You will also notice your office has been cleaned and improved. Ooh. One of the benefits oh, thank of success you much. around here. You've cleaned my office for me? I've now got my own cleaner. <laughs> look at me shine. All right, let's go and have a look at the office then, I guess. Following seas. Let's have a look. Does it look new? Does it look more fancy? Ever heard of it does a little bit. It's a quiet little fishing village to the east. Now it's part of our operation. I've got a sister there who does what I do. Only better. Her office is hidden behind an opium den there. Oh, she's smart. And tough. Her name's Huma. She's not as friendly as me. Don't take it personally. She doesn't like anyone. Even me, if I'm truthful. But if you want to cast a wider net... She can point you to swag. We don't get down this way. There's a lot you can learn from Kuma if you can earn her trust. I'll put a word in. The rest is on you. This mark is a sign you're now a trusted member of our organization. It might help some with Kuma, but I wouldn't count on it. Don't forget about Yanita Galbi. I've grown used to you. 
I'll always have something for you if you pass this way. <laughs> I'm sure you will. Okay. Maybe that was why she, um... Done my office up for me. Shut Please don't go. So we now have to travel all the way to the east side of the map. Which is roughly like 16,000 meters away. And that's where we're going. Across the rough seas. But it should be a good one. Hopefully. Um, should we do it? We should do it. Let's get it done. A distillery should be working away. Let's get back to my ship. And I believe this is where we can start to begin potentially trying to find the materials for this ship anyway. I think they're all on that side of the world. Oh boy. All I can see is the sea, <laughs> ironically. That is all, yep, that's all that's in front of us right now. Is it me or does it look particularly windy as well? <laughs> Llama, I hope you're, um, I hope you're ready. Cause this is gonna be a rocky ride. I have heard about these, um, I think they're called rogue waves. Basically humongous waves that will cause damage to your ship. I don't know if it will automatically destroy your ship or if it just does like a lot of damage. Oh my God. <laughs> what is these conditions? <laughs> this is horrible. Ship in front of us over there. It might be worth doing some attacks along the way. Oh, these conditions. What is this? If you get seasick, I man, I can't even control the ship. I must admit, the waves in this game and the, the water in this game is very good. Oh. <laughs> These are tricky conditions. <laughs> My crew's barely got any clothes on as well. This ship looks a bit lonely. Level 10. Okay, maybe we won't go after that ship. Level 10? Oh, the rogue. Ah! Oh my god! I mentioned this. Oh my god, we're going for it. We're going to climb it. Oh! oh, Jesus. Oh my. That was incredible. I know we took a bit of a hit there, but wow. That was a big wave. <laughs> the shake as well. Yeah, it took down about a good third. A good third of our health, maybe even more. Holy moly. As we head into the fog. Untainted land. Well, it's untainted by myself. At least the game lets you know when it's like a rogue wave. That felt really high. They just all like swamped our boat. Of course, ideally, you want to try and avoid it, but <laughs> I was too brave. I was too cocky. Oh, gee. Uh, I have a feeling this is an area where we're going to feel very inadequate, I think is the right word. Um, there's gonna be a lot of like level 10 ships, level seven ships, level eight ships, and we're still level five. But we can start. I don't, I don't think it's gonna be possible to finish the build in this episode, but if we make a start and we finish it at the start of the next episode, I think that could be quite good. What is this? It's actually quite hard to um, pilot the ship. It's just, it's just not responding to me, which I guess is that's what would happen. I'm trying to go straight. It's just like that. No, I ain't going straight. If I go between these two islands and sort of head left. Whoa! It's a big one. It's a big one. I think it's a rogue wave, but... What 
Let me know him. Okay, let me know. Level 10. Yeah. Let's just try and let's just try and sneak past. <laughs> let's not cause any uh, any heat right now. Yeah, we need to step up, don't we? Oh, I need one. I really want that ship. The game does a great job of making you want to get that next ship as well. It's definitely a plus point of the game for sure. Even if it does take quite a bit of time. Ooh. Whispers of the Deep. Keep hearing about this. Don't quite want to inter I want to just get to the destination at the moment, to be honest. That's the main goal. I'm, I'm going right here, but it's turning left. <laughs> These waves are evil. Particularly, well, I guess when you got the, obviously full, so I'm trying to obviously max out the speed as well, I'm trying to get there as, as quick as possible. Um, obviously, I'm guessing that makes the ship obviously more difficult to control. So also all the sails are up and the winds catching the sails. How that mast is still standing, when you consider pretty much every sail is attached to that one mast. Kind of mad. Still going the right way, yep. We head straight between those two islands. We've cut down a lot of the time already. The meterage. Was it 16,500? 6, 16, We're pretty much almost there now. Well, not almost there, but halfway there. It's so tempting to attack, but... I mean, level 8 might be doable. Might be doable. <laughs> yeah, last thing I want to do is travel all this way and then get our first death. We sink to the bottom of the ocean. And I've got to redo the whole journey again. Nah. Nah, 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 nah. These look a bit roguey. Oh, this could get spicy. Uh, he's, he's literally where I want to be as well. If he wants a fight, I'll give him a fight. I'm trying to avoid it though. Yeah, it's coming up as a, a red, a red ship. They find it. They find each other. Where am I going? Cutthroat's cargo hunt. I think we may just about be the right level for that now. Again, that's all over in this area as well. But again, we'll sort of get to this destination first. Oh, it's over there. Oh, look at that. Ooh. Minimum rank gear, level five. I'm a little bit far away at the moment. I'm doing my own thing. Is it me, or are the seas starting to calm down a little bit? I think so. That's probably going to be the biggest journey we do in the game. Look how far we travelled. That is madness. Absolute madness. It's fine. Chill out. They're not going to attack us. So if we... Oh, where am I going? I have to go a lot more right. <laughs> Whoops. Somehow I've gone the wrong way. Are we able to... Yeah. It's like a settlement. I've gone completely the wrong way. I'm not sure we're quite ready to plunder uh, this place just yet. Imagine at least level 12, right? I think this is the best way to get there. 
Oh, they, they windmills over there. They are windmills. Well, well, well. Oh. Not doing conflict at the moment, don't worry. So yeah, we loop around here, take a very stern left, and we keep going. Full power, full sails ahead. Yeah, the, the, the seas have calmed now. We should be fine. Just gotta be careful of those little rogue ships. My loyal crew will eventually upgrade, I promise. And we'll become the best pirates the seas have ever seen. Yeah, head straight up. And some pure iron. Ooh. Yeah, I really want to start start working on getting the materials. So there's pure iron, for example. Can't expect to reach greatness unless you're prepared to if we go along the shore. We can maybe pick up some stuff along the way. Hello. Guard tower. Interact. What have you got for me? Ooh, zinc. Might be useful for the boat, potentially. Would you like this commodity? Go for it. Enjoy. <laughs> ah! One sec. I just pulled zinc by accident. Go before we buy anything else. Jeez. Did not mean to do that. <laughs> just pulled zinc. No idea if that's relevant to anything we're going to be building anytime soon, but here we are. There's a shipwreck up there. We should be able to open up that. And steal its wares. Yep. Smashed it. Get in. Got well, us a repair kit, some rusty nails, some water. Oh, look at that. Look at those coins, though. Silver's definitely worth it with the wreckages. Wreckages? Great English, Scott, as always. Some iron over there. I'll grab some of this iron. Doo, doo, doo. That was a pretty epic journey, though. Smashing that rogue wave. I enjoyed that. So I believe there's only ever 20 people in a server. I personally think that could be... Oh, we better tools, do we? Oh. Yeah, she moaned about the tools. Lovely. Yeah, that is also an issue. I didn't actually think of that. Um, with the... Getting the materials we need. Potentially, we don't have the tools. That is a very, very good point. Which I didn't think about. Damn. Diddly damn damn. I'm quite sure what this resource is, but if I can grab it, I will. I've got a fairly good saw. Doesn't seem to be illuminating. No. All right. Do not have a good enough saw as well? What right, about ironwood? Oh, gee. Oh, boy. Ironwood, I know I definitely need. So, five ironwood for one plank. I think we need maybe 10 to 15 planks. I'm really hoping we can grab this. Yeah, it looks like we can. Let's pick up some there as well. Lovely. Let's try and get some, some good... Yes! That's exactly what we need. Oh. If I could not screw this up, that'd be lovely. 
That was partly my fault there. <laughs> I just screwed that up a little bit, didn't I? I'm really quite good at those mini games, but of course when I record it, of course it goes horribly wrong. That's just life, isn't it? Beautiful. We've got a bit of vine wood there, though. It's actually a bit more here. Oh, no, don't bang into him. Sorry, sorry. Oh, we hit each other. Great. Great, great, great. That is not what I wanted. Oh, no. Oh, no. What have I done? Uh, I'm trying to give me an escape. Go. No. Don't want this heat right now. I'll try and head right here. Full lot. Ow. Of course you hit every hit. Kidding me? Right, I've done no damage. Screw you! Right, go, 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 go. Just ignore it. See you later. Hope you're not an enemy, please. Leave me be. I think they are, yep. <laughs> Simple mistakes. I just wanted to go and get some more wood, and now I was done. I was done. Some more iron wood. I believe we're gonna need, we're gonna need a lot of this, a lot, a silly amount. Yeah, thank you guys for joining me on that incredible journey, though. Um, hopefully, we can make it to the end. We're very, very close now. That's and that's barely anything. We're so close. So he's messaging me. Uh, do I want to share some soup? Um, not really, no. <laughs> I don't like <laughs> Who likes soup? No one likes soup. Oh, damn it. Uh oh. Oh, come on. I left you ages ago. You wanted this heat. Well, you're going to get it. Gee, they are taking... How murdering me. Just go. Just disappear. Into the clouds, into the fog. How are we doing on the, um, the cargo front now? In terms of ironwood. Uh, 41 ironwood. That doesn't too bad. I'll take that. Am I going the wrong way? Where am I going? <laughs> I'm an idiot! Oh, more ironwood. Should I grab some more? Oh, man, have you spotted me as well? Guys, this was ages ago. Move on. They're not moving on, are they? Want some wood. But I also want to make the destination. <laughs> if I go over there and then two of them pick on me, I will cry. Because it will just it'll just destroy me in seconds. Gotta pass some iron wood. Okay, we'll just keep going anyway. And that is our destination. Look at that. Ooh, we made it. We made it. So why is this like another St. Anne? Looks like it. Yeah, I think it is. Oh, sweet. So I guess I'll have a carpenter, blacksmith. Oh, wow. Sorry, I did take a, sl a, a very short break there, but we are back. Um, yeah, this place looks incredible. It's like a St. Anne 2.0. I guess the St. Anne for the East. It was quite a journey. <laughs> I can confirm it was quite a journey. I guess it probably sells the same kind of like clothes and stuff like that. Maybe there's new bounties. Oh, I love this place. This place is awesome. All right, so we're going to see the sister. Apparently she's not the friendliest, but let's see what happens. Don't make me wait. Oh boy. 
That's quite an introduction. I don't She's got a llama as well. Talk, so I won't waste your time. If you want some sweet relief from your trouble, you will find that here. We have the best opium in all of the Indian Ocean. If you're here to bring trouble instead of lose it, beware. I'm not given to much tolerance. So choose your illusion, but don't muse over long. All dreams turn to nightmare eventually. Okay. Sure. It's an ill wind that blows nobody no good. Yet look what the latest squall just blew in. I am Huma, older sister of Yanita. This is my opium den, named Palkabuta. Or, if you prefer, the blind hold. I already know who you are. Whatever my sister told you, I am not as easy to please as she. She did mention that. Drunk less often for a while. You crossed the Indian Ocean. So you I did. Can say. It remains to be seen if you have anything else to recommend you. Believe me when I tell you, you will gain nothing from Telok Panjara. You do not thoroughly earn. One exception is your office, which is the Everything I must be good enough to get an office. This isn't Saint Anne, and I am not Yanita. We were warned about you, and it's, um, yeah. <laughs> Oh, gee. Oh, there's a smuggler's hideout as well. Let's have a look. The map has just got Yanita a lot bigger. Grog, which suits her common temperament. My tastes are more refined. Here, we turn poppy seed into opium. Not just any opium. We make blue lotus. It's pure a summer dream and the sweetest passage in the Indian Ocean. It washes away trouble and dulls pain. With your kind here, there's a lot of both going around, so business is good. We can help make improvements to your smuggling operations, Captain. For a fee, the helm provides business opportunities and licenses to secure different types of contraband and greater profits. The smoke must flow freely to the masses. We're here to assist you with your first investment. So we need poppy seeds and sugarcane. And that's the two sort of commodities we need to obviously um, make more money. To produce the blue lotus, we need poppies. We've got poppies a little bit already, actually. Megacorps are guarding large stocks of helm raw materials in their forts. It's a great opportunity for you, but quite dangerous to do it alone. So consider inviting other captains to take down the plunder. You ain't got to tell me twice. So that contract is done. Oh. My death mark has been expired. That's always nice, isn't it? That's always that's always lovely to hear. Oh, so we need to do some upgrades here apparently. Oh damn. And I can't afford these. <laughs> I can't afford this one anyway. Oh shoot. What upgrades will be reset at the end of the season? So all the work I've put into it will be just demolished. But the leader of the Unbound is just over there. Uh, don't quite know where I'm going, but we'll work it out. Oh, so is this going to be almost like a John Scarlock? Remember, maybe even slightly more intimidating. I mean, look at the the they got actual guards. Yeah. Okay, let's meet the admiral. Enter, enter, please, at ease, pirate. Well, I suppose you pirates are always at ease. From the stories my officers told me, I wasn't sure what to expect. I thought maybe you spat fire and had more teeth than Rangda herself. One more pirate stranded on our shores who believes that with grit 
an appetite they can carve out a small empire for themselves. I hope so. With me, you have a better chance, that is certain. I'm Admiral Rama, from the capital. Grew up with Sultana Hariati. Being part of the courts of Rempa, I learned one thing. When men from one empire build on the concessions of another, we get a doomed country. It's them on top, men, blocks of unchanging stone. If we let them, they'll sink us. That's why you stand before me. My officers say you can help tear us free from their rules. Pirates don't wait for royals to hand them chicken feet. They take the whole bird without ceremony. I guess we do, yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, is that an auxiliary I can see there? Look at the amount of infamy we get as well. Oh. It's, it's not really possible, that is it? I'm happy to enough. see you are hungry for this uh, business I of am. war. I've been pushed here to uh, Telok Penjara reluctantly. Didn't have much choice. I had to survive. Consequences of a failed coup d'etat. The Dutch and the Rempa are branding me a traitor. I tried to replace the Sultan with his wife. Despite her skills and guts, she's still not a man in the court's eyes. This weak leader serves both them and the Dutch, but not the people. I defied them with my dagger. A mistake. But violence is sometimes the only option we have to bring about change, isn't it? Sometimes, yeah, violence is the only option. Cannonballs are very persuasive, yeah. Cannonballs are eloquent. Their voices do not require interpretation. This world is full of pretense, and I don't intend to curtsy my way back in. The Dutch hold the Sultana prisoner, and I doubt words will change their minds. My navy is wounded, but my spies are still active. Head to Lada on my behalf. I have something to loosen tongues. They will tell us where the Sultana is held. How can you loosen their tongue? Like a ring, maybe. Success. If this is a level six or level seven mission, sort of tempted to maybe give it a go. Let me have a look. Let's see what it is. Level six. Oh. It is kind of tempting, isn't it? Or do we begin work on a new boat? On a new ship, even. So I find calling it a boat is a bit insulting, but. You know what I mean. We could do. Should we start work on the boat? I feel like we should. Yeah. I keep talking about it. So let's do it. This is a new ship, right? But it does the same thing. If you are to work with Rahma, do sail in right. this ship, will you? Do we have I don't anything? want some random no, we don't. <laughs> pirate to tarnish her reputation. Lovely. Lovely. Jobly. We have the coins and that is pretty much it. You better come back victorious. Right. Um, the refinery. Lovely. You can start on my iron wood. So you've met Rama, fiery woman. But beware, danger follows her everywhere. It might get you. Hey, that's not too bad. That's a good start. That's a pretty good start. And also some iron as well. Do one more. Max. I oh, don't do one by accident. Oops, sorry. That's done. Anything else we can do? So we've made a tiny bit of progress there. Um, we obviously gathered those on the way here. But yeah, there's still a lot to do. Should we just work on the ironwood at first? Let's all go through it one by one. Perhaps that's I'm a good idea. I still, I still need... Wow. So I need, if my maths are correct, I need 10, so 10 plus 5 is we need 50 ironwood. We need some ironwood. Again, we need 50 ironwood. 
50. Oh, no. Oh, was it? Looks like it might have been cut already. Seriously? Yep, someone's cut it recently. <sighs> Great! I'm guessing it's a fairly popular resource at the moment in this part of the world. It's only available over here, I believe. I think it's back, uh, back west. Looks like this wood might have been cut as well. Yeah, he's been cut already. The what the hell? The this is a bad start. Shoot. Right, where do we go now? Uh, 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 there's some over here. Looks like someone's been on a little scavenging mission recently. Apparently someone has claimed all of the wood. It's all gone in the area. Someone's gone absolutely mad and just nicked it all. Ugh. How annoying is that? Well, let's just check over here. Probably gone again, no, my luck. Yeah, I'm having zero luck with the ironwood right now. This is going to be a long process. But it'll be worth it. For a medium ship and a massive upgrade as well. We definitely, need to, we, definitely need to, we definitely need to do some improvements. Force open. Oh, that's exactly what we need as well. Yeah, is that a commodity? Is that what we need? Did I read that wrong? That's not what we need, is it? No, ignore me. <laughs> it's just a commodity we sell. That's fine. I have seen some steel ingots on some of the ships passing by. Yep. That's interesting. Oh, one sec. Yay, finally. We actually have some iron wood. Unbelievable. Founders Keepers. What I should have done before we left is see if we can do maybe do any upgrades to our tools. That was a bit of a silly, silly error on my part. But the iron wood is now gone. I don't know how to, I don't know how long it takes to replenish. Um. Oh, one sec. What's some more? Yay! Lovely jubbly. Shall I stop screwing it up? Great. Well done, Scott. Great job. Uh, this head. This might be some over here. What company? From who? So that's probably about 25 or something like that, maybe? Got quite a bit there. I'm guessing there must be deposits of steel around. Again, whether we can take the steel at the moment, I don't know. Okay, there's some mine wood here. Lovely! Let's grab some. Not bad. Oh, we're a bit heavy. Oh, no. <laughs> Whoops. We're now too heavy. Right, uh, on the ironwood count, how are we doing? We have 65, so that is enough. Yeah, I believe that, that is that is completely fine. That is more than enough. Okay. Should we head back then? Or we'll get too greedy. Guys, look at this base. <laughs> so you have Fort Knox? What is going on here? So I believe, if I've read this correctly on the uh, Skull and Bones wiki, the pure iron can be turned into a steel ingot, I believe. I don't know if we're able to extract the pure iron yet. I don't think so. Hmm. That's annoying. I don't think so, anyway. Might be wrong. I might be wrong. We'll have a look. We'll look into it. We should have enough iron wood, though. Right, straight to the refinery. To turn my beautiful... I don't really care, but... Iron wood. Maybe you'll find something yeah, that's what I would. Iron wood planks. <laughs> that's what I'm trying to say right now. Uh, yeah, I guess. Oh, I guess see, if we can maybe upgrade our tools. So that would be the carpenter, I think. You talk to Rama. So I would need a. What do I need to? Where's the sword? Do I a pickaxe? A pickaxe, wouldn't it? Yeah, definitely. Let's upgrade the pickaxe then. See if that helps. Harvest deposits with moderately increased efficiency. 
Yep. So that's pickaxe four. Yep, I think that one's now locked. Or we don't have the resources. So I'm hoping that'll give me enough so I can you know, actually extract the iron and turn it into steel ingots, if that even works. But I mean, this is a wiki I'm trusting right now. And the game's not really out properly yet, so. I have nowhere else to be. So that, yep, yeah, ironwood planks are now done. Right, next up is the steel ingot. Again, big question marks around this resource. I don't know how this is going to work. I hope it's easy, but we will see, I guess. We will see. I need to get this ship. I need this ship in my life. I need it. Uh, so I did see a deposit over here. Just going to get this pure iron. Maybe the pure iron can be turned into multiple different resources. I don't know. So 15. I, don't, I actually didn't check how much I actually need. Is it five per steel ingot? Um, should probably check that, shouldn't I? It might be five. Which would mean I need... 45, 60, 75? Yeah. <laughs> that sounds like quite a lot to me. What well, do I guess I gather it anyway? And then, yeah, we'll see. Pulse open! It's a very tiny green area. I was about to say I hit it every time, but I didn't. <laughs> Take it back. Let's see if the uh, iron's available. Which way is it round? I'll oh, on the other side. Damn it. No idea. I'm hoping it's just there. There's also... Um, trades of routes that we can intercept. And there would be potentially some steel ingots on there. I can't do this fast. Like this ship here. Pure iron. See, that's exactly what I need. And you've got 10 of it. <gasps> yes! Oh wow, it's very tiny. I've got 18. Okay. <laughs> is, is, is there any more? Should we keep going around? There might be a bit more. Let's go nice and slow. There might be a bit more. Is it obvious? Is it like a... I don't know. Is there any more here? Oh, please be more. Maybe there's no more. Shoot. So there should be some on this island over here. Let's have a quick look what we're looking for. Uh, what part can we actually... Um, there's a wind right against us. Since we're going so slow. What does it look like? Let's have a little nosy. It's got to be here. Is it that shiny deposit there? Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, that definitely stands out. Ooh. Okay, there we go. Right, I need some more now. Is it worth me attacking this uh, this ship? Probably not, is my guess. If, it, if it's a level six, I might go for it. If it's any higher than that, probably best to try and stay away. Probably best to stay away. Oh, I'm over here. Uncut ruby. No, not very useful. Nope. Not useful. Oh, there's the damage. There's some loot on the floor there. Any more iron deposits? Aha! There is over here. Let's go there. It's a little way away, but we can get what we need. I'm, I'm really hoping that is the right resource to turn it into steel. Doesn't quite make a lot of sense. The naming's a bit weird. Um... I really hope so. We can just start just ticking off some of these boxes. That is exactly what we need. That's all we need to do right now. What level is this ship? Uncut Ruby. No, nothing really that useful. 
Why does that death mark keep expiring? Does someone keep trying to hunt me down and just like gives up? I've got no idea what that's about. I can't remember how big this map is, but it's so big. It's humongous! Can you see a, a shiny looking rock? It looks pretty shiny to me. Please, 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 please! Please? Yes! Damn it. 18, straight in the bag. Thank you! Post, is it? That ship behind that one does have steel on it. Good. Uh, oh, can disembark. Oh, hello. All right, we're gonna. While we're here, we might as well fast travel back. We might as well and see if it works. There's no point wasting my time picking up all this iron if I don't actually need it. You are right. The right. Yes, is still in got. Yes. Okay. We've got the right resource. 19, is that enough? So I need, okay, so I need three pure iron to turn into stew ingot. That's enough, I think. That is enough. It's done. Okay, so I found the Raimi. Uh, and I believe we need, yeah, so we need five. Okay, we can do that. You have to pay them as well. I didn't realize I had to do that. That's annoying. All right, let's go and get some Raimi. Our next sort of like main resource for this ship. We need 15 of that. So again, we need 15 times. So that's like 75, isn't it? So I worked, did I work that quickly before? I think I did, yeah. So the Raimi seems to be on this side. So it's a little journey. But I will set a waypoint. There we go. Any Raimi over here? Something happening over there. Oh, one sec. Can I get there? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. How do I even get in there? I got one. Oh, what? Can I get can I get close enough to actually harvest it? I might need like a smaller boat or something. Uh, why? The wind, so annoying. Down. Might be able to get close over here, maybe. See, it's like a big entrance there, but it's clearly not. It's clearly not a big entrance. I say what I want. Oh, great. That's a complete waste of time. I'm getting a tiny bit. How do I actually... Can I, I can't get in there, can I? Look how small this gap is. There's no way it's going to let me in there. Can we go in there? No. I need a smaller boat. Oh, what a joke. Why? I guess I'll try up here, but again, it might be the same issue. I have no idea. But this one looks like I can get to it. No, oh, don't tell me it's cut. No! Please be here. I beg. Please. Here we come. I really hope it's here. Oh, slow down, slow down, slow down. Oh, that's not what I want. I'm not sure, is this just purely just a food? It's ours now. I think it is. Apparently it's in here. It looks like it's is it taken. I think it might be taken again. You've got to be kidding me. I think it's taken. I'm pretty sure it's taken. Uh, why, is this, why is the world so harsh? Right, try down here. Someone's got greedy and taking it all, haven't they? Taking every last little bit. All for themselves. I'm, yeah, great. <laughs> I am gutted. Oh! Okay, is that fourth time lucky? This might be, this might be the spot. Yes. Get around the purple. Yeah! Do me, we're getting quite a bit here. 
Oh, ho, ho, ho. We got quite a bit. How much do we get? Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Uh, 39. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. I think there might be some more over here. Just see it there, right in front of us. Yes. Come on. I want this new ship. I want it. Four, seven, four. Come on, keep cutting. Harvest as much as possible. Come on, come on, come on, come on. How are we doing? 73? I'm agonizingly close now. Agonizingly close. Is there some more down here? Okay, yeah, we can have a look. We can have a look. Ooh, is that some ironwood? It's not. No. Is that a windmill? Some kind of... Here's a windmill, yeah. It's collapsed. Yeah, there's some here, guys. Yes! Oh, what am I doing here? Is there a boat there? Oh, yeah, there is. <laughs> No, don't screw it up now. I think we have enough. I think we have enough. That's right. Yes. Rami. I can now turn it into fine Rami. Yes, 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 yes. Well, I guess we're going to head. We're going to head back. I will right. Say take your time. Fine Rami, here we come. Hopefully my maths are correct. Yep, more than enough. Plenty. Plenty, plenty, plenty. And we've got some more ironwood, actually, as well. Because clearly I'm greedy. All workers are busy. Ah, oh, we did it, we did it, we did it. Yeah, it's going to be more than enough. Now, see, these materials are now worth a lot more than they would be if they were just normal, um, like the planks are worth a lot more. So it's actually quite a good way of farming money, actually, as well. So looks like the final two materials, the shellac and the crude salt peter, peter, um, are both like civilization specialized sort of materials, um, which I'm guessing we have to buy. Um, not ones we can sort of make, as far as I can tell. Um, so we can get some from here. This is just a, a military camp. I'm hoping we can trade. Um, I hope so, but <laughs> I guess we'll find out. Let's set a marker. Let's have a little investigate. I don't. I don't think I really have the ship to start a conflict. So, oh, one sec. That's got. He's got exactly what I need. <laughs> Oopsie doodles. Oh, sorry. 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 Oh, I'm fire. Damn it. <laughs> fire now. I don't mean to do that. He's got exactly what I need, and it's for free. So. I can just take him out. And Nicky's loot. He's dead anyway. Can I just go over there and just steal his loot? Yes. <laughs> Don't mind me. Let's loot back round. That's quite funny. I need two of those now. <laughs> Beautifully done there, Scotty boy. Got a little bit, a little bit lucky, but it's all good. I'm in, I'm in neutral already. Save myself a little bit of money. Don't mind if I do. Yeah, and obviously when they probably want to start looking, maybe, well, we get the new ship. We were desperately want an auxiliary weapon. If we go to the journal, do we get an auxiliary weapon for doing this? Let's have a look. A mortar. I believe that's an auxiliary. Is that, is that an auxiliary weapon? I have to look up. I have to look into that. I'm not quite sure. Sounds like one. I think it's one. Yeah, so we can have a rear weapon, a front weapon, left and right. Which is very useful. The amount of times we've sort of gone to... Oh, one sec, can we... Oh, we can disembark. Lovely. We've gone to, like, shoot from behind and we just can't do it. And it, it makes it quite awkward in combat. If we have a cannon at the back, that'd be, that'd be good. That'd be very good. So this is a lookout. I'm guessing there's a trader here. At least I hope so. 
who's willing to barter. Come on, stranger. Let's trade. Okay, let's trade. Salam what have you got then. for me? We will only be here. Let's skip past this stuff. Uh, I'm looking for information. What do you have of have value? Everyone I'm I on. I want to swan the material. I want to go. You don't have it, do you? Oh, you do have it. Yes. So I need two of these. I don't think I've only got one. Need help your battles. Oh. Right, let's do some trading. Could probably plunder them, but that would be nice. As I plow into them. Right. Don't tell me you've only got one. Ah, uh, seriously? Seriously? You're taking the mickey out of me. He's only got one. I see a bit of a theme here. This could take a bit of time. <laughs> this could take a lot of time. Oh, why? Why, 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 why? Ooh. Level seven, that's doable, right? That's definitely doable. I might end up regretting this. Oh, I, don't actually know. I don't actually know what happens if I do actually fail. Do we lose all the cargo we have, for example? Keep your Keep up your I don't know. So destroyed the rear. <laughs> that's any wrong. Fire! That doesn't do much. That's disappointing. I need whatever you have on your ship. It's crude salt pita. <laughs> With a weird name as well. Done. That's the first time a musket has finished him off. Yay! Right, how are we doing? All we need is this salak. That's all we need now. Alright, so where are we going for that? Um, over to here? Yeah, I guess so. So it looks like this is just going to be a simple case of having to travel to all the sort of separate destinations, all the trading outposts, and basically buy it. But it's doable. It's just going to take a little bit of time. Luckily, due to the power of editing, we can edit this out. And hopefully, the ship will be ours soon. I hope. I hope. That'd be, that'd be a good episode. Travelling to the east, across those rough seas... Getting the next ship upgrade. Um, getting all the sort of supplier runs done, the rogues. Yeah. I'd class that as a very good episode. Hopefully you guys agree. Uh, guys, this ship has two of the celiac, and I need one. Ooh. That is tempting. That is very tempting. He's only level six as well. Or do I just... Travel and just buy it. I don't know what to do here. Yeah. I just found a contract. I accepted a random contract from a random boat. I was like, please help me. Oh, that is tempting in the half. Oh, am I going to regret this? What do I do? What do I do? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to even be. I'm going to even be. It's going to travel, purchase, and get it done. Because if something happens to me, and I have to come all the way back here again, it's quite a long journey, so I'm already, like, halfway there, basically. It's a, I, it's a, yeah, it could go wrong, basically, is what I'm trying to say. If he's by himself, in the open water, might be okay. But yeah, just, I don't want to take any unnecessary risks. It's fine, we've got to buy one more, and we're done. We can have a new ship. Finally. Oh. So you can find that. That's Sheliak, Sheliak, or whatever you want to call it. It's a pretty hard resource. You can only buy one per trade outpost. And you occasionally, as you've seen back there, may find it on the boat, but it's pretty, pretty rare. It's probably the ra rarest resource I've seen so far in the game. And the hardest to get. But we are one away. One away. Unless someone sinks us, then we're potentially back to zero. I have no idea. That would be very, very punchy. If that's the case. That'd be that'd be that'd be horrible. Oh, one sec. Is this a trade route? Oh no! This is a trade route. I think. I no, that's not what I want. Oh shoot! I think it's a trade route. Ah, uh, I'm gonna have to fight anyway. Is that got any? 
Oh, it does have some. Lock it on, baby. Level six, mark it up. Sorry, the sea's quite wobbly at the moment. He's still 800 meters away. Damn. Have you got any? Nope. Let's get it done. So we will have to do combat anyway. Like this is again still a bit safer. The combat earlier would have been um, risky, risky, risky. We don't want that. Right, here we go. Boom! We felt that. We're now hostile. Oh, good hit, George! Oh! Please fire, please fire, please fire. Oh, he's got a little bit of backup as well. Of course he has. Why wouldn't he? Yeah, he's definitely got backup. I'm trying, I'm trying. Let's just try and take him out. All right. Maybe it's too good ball. Did I get what I need? Yeah, I only got one. Okay, he did have two, so I'm guessing. Interesting. Interesting. So I maybe would have got two if I balled it. Yeah, interesting. I didn't know that's how it worked. But now we're just trying to head back and build this ship without dying, I guess. If you want this heat, mate, I'll give you a heat. Don't even worry about that. Oh, I'm here. <laughs> I'm dead. Finish him off. See you later. Now we've got to somehow get back to base. The missing's quite far away. Oh my god! Oh no. What? Oh. I'm not even remotely looking at my screen. I got attacked by a just. Oh my god. That's honestly how I'm gonna. Back to the dock, I guess? Have we. How much have we lost? Uh. Your cargo will be jettisoned at sea when you are defeated. Return to where you were sunk to recover it. Oh my god. Seriously? Where the hell is that? Oh my... I'm so far away! Oh, you absolute... So if we die again, do we lose those resources that we just left there? Is that how it works? Uh has gone wrong very quickly. How's my ammo can actually? Ammo's fine. Okay, so I get to keep my ammo. So you don't lose every piece of cargo. It's just I don't know. I guess the stuff maybe you got on that run. It counts as it counts as a run, maybe. That is so annoying. I was so close. Look how close I was. Agonizingly close, and that ship comes out of absolute nowhere. I wasn't even paying attention to the screen, I was just looking down at my phone, letting the boat do its thing, and then, uh, yeah, I got buried. Did it kill me very quickly, like in two hits? I didn't have time to even react, so I was about to do a repair, but it was too late. Probably would have done a repair and then run. It's got a hope, maybe like one. I mean, if I've lost half of what I collected. Oh, that'd be agonized. That'd be horrible. I'd probably have to end the episode because I've been recording for too long. I can't keep going. I'd have to come back and finish it in the next episode. Oh, no. Let's not think badly. We'll just think, be positive. All the resources we got are going to be sitting there waiting for me. Hopefully. Please just be there. Please. It's like it knew it was, I was going to come. I hope it's not one of those ships that are going to try and attack me again. I think it might be that ship over there. 
that red one. So we're going to grab the resources and run. Come on, please, 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 please. Please all be there. Yeah, grab it all. Yes. I think we're fine. Turn around. Turn around. Let's go. Go, 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 go. Right, take two. <laughs> Hopefully, I'll meet you there. It is time. Time, time, time. If this doesn't deserve a like, I don't know what does, guys. Come on. If you haven't liked the video, please do now. Right, where are you? Oh, finally, a medium ship. I'm so happy. I don't even care what ship it even is. I just, I just want it. Yes. Wish I could say the same for my assistants. Oh, so good. Look at that. Oh, that's going to be so good. Look at the furniture slots as well. So, trimming speed is about 14 knots, which isn't actually that much better, is it? Than what I've got. I've got the cutter. This is 13 on that one, so I guess slightly better. Yeah, it's better. Okay, let's build it. Let's just do it. Build it. Tell me if you need another crew member. Yes. Woohoo! Yes! It is done! Oh, that looks beautiful! Looks a little bit damaged. I won't lie. Looks a little bit damaged. We can fix it, it's fine. So we've got to throw or seal the cannons onto it. Uh, yeah, move all cargo, please. Yeah, just move it all. Oh, I'm so happy. So happy with that. And these are all level five ships anyway, so they might be better, potentially. Yeah, I'm just very, very happy. Very, very happy. Right, details. Are we able to compare stats? I think it's pretty better if we go to the dock. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, we did it. We did it. Yep. Auxiliary weapons are now available. I don't think we have any yet. And that would be something we'll probably do straight away in the next episode, is get an auxiliary weapon. ASAP. Let's set sail. Oh, yes. <laughs> it's definitely bigger. In the last one, I was so disappointed. I was like, it doesn't look much bigger. Yeah, we don't have any auxiliary weapons at the moment. Uh, in terms of the front, we will put the yeah Sherlock's cannons at the front. So that's definitely on. Perfect. Sometimes I couldn't get the armor to go on. I have to look into that. Um, the flooding, the flooding demi cannon, which I do like. I like almost like the shotgun one. Um, this is yep, yeah, lovely. Put it on the other side. So it's the same cannons we had before. And then the rear, I could probably do have a better one, but I might go for the fired long guns. Yep. It's officially level six already. Yes. Well, can I put that on or not? I think it's on now. No, it still keeps going off. I don't, I'm going to have to try and switch that. I don't know what was going on there. Sure. You're being annoying. Very annoying. Oh, this is pretty cool. I'm not sure about the um, the emblem, but we can change that, right? Um, can we change it or not? Mm, I think the game's playing up a little bit. Something is happening. Yeah, so the armor's not on. We haven't got the furniture on as well. Uh, we do have four slots available. Still got one furniture slot. I can only have one major one on. Yes, yeah, so I've got one furniture. I have been selling my furniture, which is probably not the best idea, but we're almost halfway to seven. Yes! Yes, yes, yes. Right, should we just head out to sea? To see what it's like? Okay, or we could just back out. Because I'm a stupid idiot. Set sail. Yes! Definitely definitely bigger. Look at it! That is a proper ship. Two massive sails. How's the um the cargo on it? Can't fire yet, of course. Cannons at the rear for the first time. 
very exciting. I've got cannons on all sides. Yes. It's probably got a similar speed to my last ship. And how are we doing on the cargo space? Let's have a look. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> we have a lot of space. A lot of space available. Look at it. 14 knots. That's with the wind not perfect as well. It's, it's a little bit quicker. Don't crash it already, Scott. Oh. Slight nudge. It's fine. It's all good. Look at it. I am now a behemoth. Attacking the den or ship will bring it. Oh, yes, yeah, not do that. I wasn't trying to do that. I was just. It's alright. Don't, don't calm down. You're good. So maybe with like a strong wind behind you, we could maybe pick up a little bit more speed. Yeah, that is sweet. The cargo space in particular is very, very useful. Uh, so we're going to sort out the auxiliary weapon in the next episode. Try and get the armor on as well. So if we change ship, we can have like a rough idea of the differences. So a quick comparison. The whole health of our new ship is 37,000. That's a pretty big increase. The brace strength is 7,400. Damn. The speed is 11 knots now on our new ship. The trimming speed is 14, so it's pretty similar. I guess the trimming speed on the cutter, once it got going, was a lot quicker, which is good, I guess. Uh, the cargo, that's a big one for me. So it was 26,000. It's now 70,000. Stamina, still the same, but 100. Okay. Not bad. Not bad at all. Look at that. An actual full bar. I've got so much cargo space now. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Cannot wait to work on this ship more. It's going to be so good.